Hi everybody. Um, I spent this weekend moving furniture and getting my new bed set up. Thank you again to Dan and AJ. And uh, because of that, I didn't do a video yesterday. I decided to let myself off the hook because I did a lot of hard work and I was just done at the end of the day. Um, I tried singing today and I'm kind of hoarse from all the dust and whatnot. So I'm going with a poem instead. This one is called Take Two and Knit Me in the Morning. We excuse our actions, otherwise self-indulgent, by clicking our needles together, because it wasn't wasted time if I made a scarf while binge-watching Jessica Jones. We commemorate our lives, like the gray scarf I knit in the car on the way to my grandfather's memorial, or the fingerless gloves I made in the airport right before the worst vacation ever. Each garment, each glove, each scarf, each sweater is a monument to the life that we lived while making it. I am not only making a thing, a hat, a scarf, these socks, that shawl. I am telling a story. In each stitch is a laugh, a prayer, a mindless struggle to achieve through a dark tunnel of depression. I am showing you how I survived. The first shawl I knit saw me through the tribulations of medication side effects. Pills threatened to turn me into a little engine that could of suicidal ideation. Instead, I knit my way through it because who would kill themselves and leave half a shawl done? The yarn was more expensive and colorful than I imagined yarn could be, but in the end, it was worth it. When I knit, I am surviving, living to the end of the next row, thriving as I learn something new, enjoying life because the dull gray haze occasionally does lift away and the colors of the yarn are just so much brighter. So when I knit, I am telling you a story. I am praying, surviving, carrying on, a grown person entertained by a ball of string and sticks. Don't laugh. A ball of string and sticks kept me alive when I was alone with my thoughts for too long. Thank you, everybody. Um, I have to give a special thank you to my patrons this week. Uh, we are in quarantine now, so this is pretty much all I can do for income at this time, and John is stuck at home as well. So uh, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support, and I'll see you tomorrow.